Hi, my name is Eskil Steinberg, and I'm going to show you the latest version of Adria-OM, which is my data visualization tool. So this is kind of a desktop tool that allows me to take a look at data. So I'm going to start by loading a data file. Now this is a piece of test data. And here you can see a bunch of different data types spread out on the screen. And if I want to take a look at any one of them, is click on it and zoom in. And now I can take a look at this piece of data. Um, I can turn around, I can rotate, and I click again, and I go back into my desktop. Now this desktop is completely rearrangeable, so I can move stuff around. I can move this over here. I can take this countdown, for instance, and scale it. Um, there we go. Um, and all this is actually using my new library, so it's all multi-touch, so you can have it on a big, nice display and show it in your office. And it has some really interesting ways of displaying data. So this, for instance, is performance data, so it could be, you know, how fast a game runs and things like that. Um, you have message logs, for instance, which could be a chat or something like that. Um, you can even do three-dimensional volumetric data like this one. So I can not only turn around and look at it, I can also set limits values to sort of explore this piece of 3D data. Um, I also can do things like a uh, height map. So this is a height map which might, for instance, in a game be data that tells you where players are on a specific level and things like that. But not only can I um, move over data, I can also move over graphics. So these are a bunch of lines that I just sort of uh, generated just to display and using a L simple L tree algorithm. And the nice thing about this is that you can actually move over geometry or level outlines or things like that to accommodate the data to give you a sort of context for your data and how it relates to the assets in, in a game, for instance. Um, you can also do full text, and uh, I've inserted this little text box that actually has the API you use to record data. So it's very simple to use. You basically just allocate a piece of data you want to do, and you give it a name and some information. And these use these uh, calls inside your code to write out data. And it will come out in the form of a binary file that you can then load into this tool. Uh, but not only that, you can actually use um, a network connection and get real-time data. So for instance, it's really useful for you know checking up on a server that is running somewhere else or um, data that you want to check in real-time. So maybe you're playing a game and you can record and at the same time visualize in real-time. And that lets me show you this, which is my new little connect interface. And this shows you sort of the beginnings of my new interface library that I'm going to use for all my applications. Um, this application is actually using all my latest libraries like Betray and Seduce and things like that. So it supports multi-touch. It will support multi-platform. It will support stereoscopic. So you can view all this data with uh, 3D glasses if you have and things like that. So it will be way more versatile than previous applications. Um, this tool is getting close to being uh, completed, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm still sort of tweaking some some of the details. Thank you for watching.